I want to start with the web version of Google Photos. And notice this is my account we're looking at. The memories start with a car and an RV. And then these pictures are from March 2024. Now I want to switch to the account of my imaginary friend, Alan, and take a look at his pictures. You just click on the account button and you can add Alan, or if he's already there, you can just switch. Now I am looking at Alan's Google Photos account. Notice the memories at the top are completely different. Then he has some pictures dated in 2030 to make them always appear at the top. And the next pictures are March 2023. He has no pictures from 2024. Now let's look at the Google Photos app on the phone. I know that I'm looking at my pictures because it's my account button, Chris, in the upper right corner. The memories look the same as they were on the computer, and I see March 2024's photos, current photos. If you have added multiple accounts to your phone, you get to it by tapping on that account button. I'm now choosing Alan. Notice the little cloud with the arrow through it. I'll talk about that later. So, And you can even just swipe on that button to change accounts. Very easy to do by mistake. I'm looking at Alan's account now. I see his memories are very different from the ones in my account. And there are these September 2020, 2030 pictures at the top that are in his account. Notice the cloud with the check mark on them. As I scroll down, I see the photos that are on the device. These are not in his account. Let me explain. I'm going to do that by taking a photo with this phone. I take a photo of this little green Android guy, and then I open Google Photos, and notice I am still in Alan's account, yet I see this green Android guy. So we're going to see this photo, whether we're in the Chris account or the Allen account. Why? Because this photo is on the device. Google Photos sees all photos on the device, and it sees the photos that are in this account's cloud. Notice the little cloud with the line through it up here. What does that mean? I'll tap there. It says backing up to a different account. We're looking at Alan's account, but it's being but photos taken with this device are being backed up to the Chris account. So where is that setting for which account photos are going to get uploaded to? On the phone, taking the photo, you go into Photos Settings, Backup. And then you should see the account that it's being backed up to. If you want to change it, you tap there and choose the different account. It can only back up to one account at a time. But there is one exception, which I'll show you next. So once again, we are viewing Alan's account here, but the cloud with the line through it means these photos are not being uploaded to his account. There is one exception. If you make an album, I'm selecting just some f photos from the backyard. They have not been uploaded to Alan's account. When I make an album, you need to understand that an album is a web-based thing. So any photos in an album must, by necessity, get backed up to the account that you are viewing, that you are making the album in. So now let's go look at the web in Alan's account. And sure enough, there are those current photos because he made an album of the photos that were on the device. They are now in his account. Mm -hmm.